So I didn't know if I wanted to make a short or actually like a proper video in terms of discussing this. So I'm going to go with a video to see uh, how long we talk about this because god damn, we have some interesting transfer news. I, I, I be popping models, sparkles and champagne. For those who don't know, it was about a week or so ago that uh, Cowboys forward Luciano Le Lua had announced that he had wanted an immediate termination of his Cowboys contract, which sort of came out of nowhere and obviously Luciano wanted to test himself on the open market. So he would release his demands. A three year deal, 900k a year. That's what was asked by him. Everybody laughed about it for being well, a bit, a bit steep, to say the very least, and would think that nobody would actually pay that demand. However, as of announced today, the St. George Illawarra Dragons, who Luciano has been in talks with, like he sat down with Shane Flanagan, the Dragons coach, uh, I think some point last week, the Dragons have announced that they have signed him, allegedly for his demand. Luciano Le Lua, will be the highest paid player at St. George, and he'll be in the top 30 of the highest paid players currently in the NRL. First off, Luciano, well done. I don't know what kind of art of the deal bullshit you've played here, but you have gotten the bag, and I respect the absolute daylights out of it. Gone to a club who has kind of been pressured into desperately needing to pay for somebody like Luciano, and they met the demands, like, mate, well done. For that kind of money, you could even potentially afford a down payment of a house in Sydney and or Wollongong. To the Dragons, um, I, f I could kind of understand as to why they would meet the demands, it's just, Obviously, from the outside looking in, it's like, why would you sign him for that amount of money? But it's like, I don't want to say that the Dragons were kind of forced to, but they were kind of put into a position where they kind of needed a, a somewhat big player to come into the squad to help, you know, aid with the forward pack, you know, get a little bit of pressure off of, um, of Ben Hunt's back. And so, they've made the signing for it. I think it can go well i don't know if it's going to go 900k a year worth well but i do think it is going to be an all right signing for them it's just that the contract's a bit ugh. the cowboys will probably be cheering because obviously i mean he he terminated his deal with the club and he's now freed up a considerate amount of space so they can re renew players so that's good for them so it's kind of almost a win 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 situation i mean the dragons got their man maybe overpaid but they got him uh the cowboys have freed up some cap space and luciano Le lua is getting absolute bags just for a frame of reference i have got a list of all of the you know top earning players in the nrl these are the players that are now going to be earning the same amount of money as luciano Le lua jerome hughes jeremiah nanai hamal olika r2 and Jack Whiten, when his contract upgrades to him getting 900k a year, because he's currently on 750k a year. And if you go to like even just like a little 50k over, that's Jason Tamalalo, Junior Paulo, Cameron Murray, like Gutho territory of how much money they're getting paid. And you've got to think as well is Bram and Best for the Newcastle Knights about a week or so ago announced he was re signing with the club for a three year deal. But he's on 700k a year. And this is a bloke that last year went on an insane run with the Knights in the second half of the season and broke into the New South Wales team in Game 3 and actually scored and is a part of the big 36 squad that could potentially play Origin this year in 2024. So all in all, in this whole situation, the biggest winner here is Luciano Leilua. Like, get that bag, my brethren. So that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Um... What's your thoughts on this? Is there a big winner? Well, it's going to be Luciano, but who is the big loser in this situation if there is one? Is this a good deal? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all later.